Good morning, Jamie. Good morning, Susan. Would you like to go first? Sure. I'm going to talk about A Snake Falls to Earth by Darcy Little Badger. This was long listed for the National Book Award for Young People's Literature, and that's what made me pick it up. But I want to talk about this book for middle grade. It's currently shelved in YA, young adult, in 12 plus. But I want to talk about it because we will often get people in looking for literature for kids who aren't, maybe they are just 12, maybe they're 11, um, and really good readers, and they want something more, they want something, um, they want to move on to the next great thing of literature, but as soon as they walk up here to young adult, they find the content starts shifting toward um, romance, yeah. Um, exploration of sexuality, um, college plans, yes. leaving home, that struggle, which is sometimes a difficult struggle. And when you're in middle grade, you're just not quite there yet. Not there and that yet. stuff isn't interesting to you. Yeah. It's not that you can't handle it even. Sometimes you can't. Um, but sometimes even if you can handle it, it doesn't mean anything to you. You're not going to really understand those characters. You're not going to connect with them. This is a book that I think would be a good one for those kids. Um, even though it's shelved up here, I think someone could. So why does this book, which is a amazing mythology book written by Alipan um, Apache, and um, why does that resonate with um, younger kids? And I would say that it is a great mythology. Oh, okay. um, we've got the current world and the reflecting world where there are animal people. And those animal people um, can present either in their animal form or they can shape shift into a human form. And then eventually in this story, those two worlds meet. Um, we get alternating chapters between a young girl in our world and a cottonmouth snake in the other world. I loved all the characters in this book. It's absolutely fabulous. But it's different from the mythology books here in middle grade. Yeah. Um, they're more of an adventure story. Yes. This is a little bit more thoughtful um, and even though they do go on a journey to get the two worlds to meet, it's just not quite um, the middle grade tone that you get. So that's why they did put it up into the young adult section. Um, but it's just a wonderful book. So if you had someone who was interested in a more sophisticated yeah. mythology book, this would be a good one, and it doesn't have some of that content that one might be concerned about. Perfect. I would highly recommend it's a wonderful story. Yeah, you have me intrigued. Great. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. And today I'm going to talk about Pony, which is by R.J. Palacio. Now, everyone should know that name because she wrote Wonder. Mm -hmm. That book is still out in hardcover after right. so many years. Mm. But this is different for her. And my coworker Terry read it and absolutely loved it. She wrote, what a great adventure. Silas's dad has been taken by force and Silas is determined to get him back by any means. With the help of an uncannily smart horse, which we see on the cover. Nice. And Mittenwool, the ghost, yes, that says ghost, he embarks on a journey that takes him through a haunted forest, among other places. This is a good old-fashioned fas Western for the entire family. Hmm. So, and we have signed copies, nice. first edition. Wow. So very, very nice. Pretty cool. Yeah. 